welcome to Capital Online TV News. My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. President Uhuru Kenyatta has slammed claims by the opposition that the country is staring at a constitutional crisis if fresh presidential polls are not held by the end of next month. Addressing leaders from pastoralist communities, President Kenyatta reaffirmed that the constitution is clear that he is the head of state until a new leader is sworn in. <laughs> Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mpaka mwingine ataapishwa ni Uhuru Kenyatta. Na mimi sita sita kuchukua hatua ambazo katiba imenipatia kuhakikisha ya kwamba wa Kenya wamelindwa kuhakikisha ya kwamba biashara zao mashamba yao mifugo yao imelindwa kulingana na sheria kuhakikisha ya kwamba tuko na usalama wa kutosha katika taifa letu la Kenya President Kenyatta was reacting to a statement by CIA Senator James Orengo who urged Kenyans to brace themselves for a constitutional crisis if the fresh poll is not held within the deadline as directed by the Supreme Court The country may be bordering on a constitutional crisis of grave propos uh, proportion. A constitutional crisis in the sense that uh, the powers that uh, the president would normally enjoy were extinguished very substantially on the 8th of August 2017. And uh, the after uh, the 8th of August, he was exercising temporary powers of incubancy. And the danger that we now find ourselves in is that if the elections are not held within 60 days, then he will not have the constitutional authority or legitimacy to continue to be in that office. So this particular constitutional crisis that uh, we are getting ourselves into must be resolved as quickly as possible. And that can only happen if we have an election conducted in accordance with the constitution. And the IBC is not going to run away from it because the court has spoken very loudly that they cannot conduct any other election except an election held and conducted within uh, the provisions of the constitution. The cabinet has approved 10 billion shillings for a repeat presidential poll requested by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission in a proposed budget submitted to the Treasury. In a cabinet meeting chaired by President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto earlier Thursday, the executive decision was arrived at in what they unanimously termed as a plan to reorganize the 2017-2018 planned expenditure so as to meet the obligations turned priorities created by unforeseen circumstances. According to the poll agency chairman Mufula Chibukati, the new approved funds will go into implementing key tasks, especially those related to technology and training of the electoral offices. Normalcy has resumed in most parts of the country where tension had hit the brim following the disputed August 8th presidential results. In Madare, it is a show of resilience as communities who attend against each other shake off the past and focus towards earning a living in a harmonious environment. Madare bila siyasa, kuna kuwa Mta mzuri sana bila siyasa. Biyashara tunafanya vizuri, hatuna ukabila, hatubagui, hati huu ni mjalu, huu ni mkikui, huu ni mkisi. Tunafanya tu biyashara vizuri. Yapokuwa kati ya siyasa, mambo na kuja na haribika. Others who spoke to Capital TV have called on political leaders to avoid inciting communities against each other and instead focus on service delivery. Kwa viongozi wetu, ningependa tu wambie wapendane, wa waelezane tu wasikilizane wawache kufanya wanadamu wazozane juu wako juu na sisi tuko chini juu kama wanazozana huko juu sisi pia maisha yetu hapa chini inakuwa mbaya sasa ni vizuri waelezane wafanye vitu zenye inafaa maneno ya kujibishana kila saa sio vizuri wakue wakipendana ndio pia sisi tukiona hivyo tutaona kama Kenya yetu ni mzuri 
Their appeal is that the IBC should expeditiously put its house in order and carry out a credible presidential rerun after the Supreme Court annulled President Uhuru Kenyatta's victory. Lastly, the survivors of the 2013 Westgate Shopping Mall terrorist attack in Nairobi have sent strong messages of forgiveness, peace, unity and gratitude as the country marks the fourth anniversary of the massacre that claimed 67 lives. During the memorial anniversary graced by the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, the survivors described the Westgate assault as a cowardly terrorist act aimed at intimidating Kenyans but from which they emerged victorious. Comforting the victors and honouring those who lost their lives, the First Lady said the memory of the Westgate attack brings much pain and sadness but reminds Kenyans to stand together in solidarity against terrorism. Today, we remember people like you and me who were full of hopes and dreams, whose lives were changed forever. Fathers, mothers, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. We also remember a day when we were inspired by the courage and sacrifice of many. We are honored to be in the presence of children, women, and men whose lives are a true testament of the endurance and strength of the human spirit. And that's all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke. My name is Anita Nderu. Have yourselves a great evening. <music>